We're all here today to launch Cook County's open data website. I know that there has been historically a lack of transparency and accountability in Cook County government, and that's eroded the confidence of our citizens. Government has to be more transparent and accountable. When I was sworn in December, I said it was time to open county government to its citizens to make county government work for its residents. In April, Commissioner Fritchie came to us with an idea about open government. So I want to credit Commissioner Fritchie. Um, I'm very grateful to him. This is something he worked on in the state legislature and um, brought to us Cook County Open Government Ordinance, which we worked on together with him, designed to increase transparency, accountability, and inform public participation in Cook County. The ordinance was passed unanimously in May, and it requires Cook County agencies and elected officials to prepare open government plans, to develop data catalogs, and to post at least three high-value data sets for the county websites. Today, in conjunction with that ordinance, we are launching Data Cook County ill.gov. The website is composed of, of over 75 sets of data from more than 40 departments and agencies throughout the county. Some examples of featured data sets include a year-to-date map of foreclosures in Cook County, a map of outpatient registrations in the Cook County Health and Hospital System, a, a map of, ba of paths and bike trails in the Forest Preserve District, and the nearest county health care facility. It's important to point out this is a collaborative effort. All the Cook County separately elected officials have contributed data and committed to work with us and work with the Bureau of Technology to increase the information available and ensure existing data is kept up to date. The data being published allows Cook County residents to use information as a tool to help government, to help measure government effectiveness and efficiency while providing citizens with the opportunity to leverage data towards civic-minded initiatives and applications. Cook County's open data provides county residents with the opportunity to engage with government and contribute their own feedback and ideas to the open government initiative. The site allows users to comment, rate, and request additional data sets. We also want people to create their own unique maps and charts and share their information on social networks or embed them on their own community and personal blogs. Data in a vacuum serves no function or purpose. It's time for honest and open dialogue with the people of Cook County, and in order to do that, we have to lay the facts on the table and then allow everyone a seat at the table. I want to thank, again, Commissioner John Fritchie for his commitment and his leadership on this issue. I'm very grateful. Before I bring him forward, let me um, introduce the other folks who are with us here today. Our own Chief Information Officer, Greg Wass. Catherine, ah, okay, good, you made it up. Catherine Auerbach. Director of Operations at Metro Chicago Information Center, MCIC. Greg Sanders from the Chicago Metropolitan Agency for Planning, CMAP. Brett Goldstein, who's the Chief Data Officer for the City of Chicago, with whom we've been working closely around data issues. Uh, Alia Adamani, who's th from the Illinois Science and Technology Coalition. And Dan O'Neill, who's Director of, Smart Ch of the Smart Chicago Collaborative and formerly co-founder of EveryBlock.com. Today should make it clear if the past 10 months haven't, uh, this is not your father's Cook County. Uh, this is something that would not have been seen in Cook County, uh, substantively, let alone in concept. Uh, this is a tremendous and substantive first step, but it has to be seen as a first step. Uh, for us to get us to this point was monumental, and there was a lot of resistance. Uh, not among my colleagues on the board, definitely not among the president. Uh, let me be clear, something like this does not happen without leadership and support and direction from up top, and I'm very thankful to President Preckwinkle for showing all of that. Uh, I will say that one of the differences between the county and the city, uh, the mayor has the ability to decree that those underneath him comply. That's why you've seen some great things happening over at the city. Uh, the president can do that over her office, and she has, and the agencies directly under her have been great. Uh, some of the other elected officials, I think, are still treating this as more of a punishment than an opportunity, um, and I'm going to hope that that mindset changes, and that mindset will change as the public starts to demand more from this. When this public starts to see what open data can mean to them, uh, not just from going to a website, but changing how they interact 
with government, changing how they conceptualize government and what it means to be able to have access to government data, uh, the public's going to demand more of this. Uh, they're going to expect that this is how government will operate uh, going forward in the future. Uh, in order to do that, we need high value data. We need cooperation from the other county elected officials. Uh, while we've gotten some of that from them, I would hope that we will get more going forward. I think that they have met the uh, thresholds. I think that we have a fantastic site, but it's one that will only get better with participation, uh, robust participation from the other elected officials in Cook County. I hope we see that. Uh, but today, I think the focus needs to be that this is a truly historic first step and is continuing to evolve how we operate Cook County government and how the public's going to see Cook County government going forward. Again, thank you to Greg Wast, President Preckwinkle, to everybody in the data community in Chicago. And we are fortunate to have in both the public and private sector, whether it's people like Brett over at the city, people like Dan in the private sector, who really understand the value of open data, of transparency, of accountability, and bring all that together into a project like this one. Today, Cook County joins the growing list of local governments internationally that have embraced the open government movement. This list includes early adopters like Washington, D.C., London, England, Vancouver and Toronto, Canada, Baltimore, San Francisco, and New York City. So what is open government? Beyond the improvements in government transparency and accountability, open government has a very specific meaning. Open government means putting data about government operations and public data that government maintains, such as economic development data, public safety data, financial data, and locational data, onto a public-facing website in an open format that allows you to see all the data, to download it, and to point to it with custom-built software applications. This is much different from putting a table or a PDF document or a search function on the web. With open government, the power to map the data or create a graph from it or build a mobile app from it is in the user's hands. Open government, as the President said, also means providing users the ability to provide feedback, to rank data sets, and to recommend new ones, as you will see in a demo we're going to do in a few minutes here. Over the past few months, the City of Chicago and the State of Illinois have begun to publish data according to open government standards. Chicago has hosted the Cook County's data sets on its site as the county prepared its own website. I want to thank Brett Goldstein, the city's chief data officer, who is here today, who was very helpful to us during this period. We're very proud of what we've accomplished while recognizing there's still a lot to do. Commissioner Fritchie and President Preckwinkle deserve the credit for the original vision and leadership on this effort. The open government ordinance that they introduced this past spring was passed unanimously by the Cook County Board of Commissioners and set us on our path. Uh, Sebastian James, our Deputy Director of New Media, and please come up here, Sebastian, uh, worked tirelessly on developing Cook County's open data site over the past four months. The other people you see here behind me were helpful throughout the project, as was the Civic Consulting Alliance and our interns from Northwestern University and University of Illinois at Chicago. The county's IT Collaborative Board, our countywide IT planning group that includes representation from all the county elected officials, was engaged throughout this period and will play an important role in growing the number of data sets on the open data website going forward. Cook County has posted today more than 75 data sets to the site and we plan to add more every week and to continue to update the data that is there on county operations, finances and performance management.